Hi guys, welcome to this topic on training and development. You should be able to relate to this topic really well because right now you are undergoing training and development. By being in this school, by taking on this course, you are training yourself and developing your professional skills and knowledge. Many of you have work experiences. Many of you have done or will be doing your internship soon. There are so many things to learn on your first day at work. I remember when I first started working, I had so many things, so many technical terms, acronyms, softwares I have never seen, skills I never had, and we had to pick it up really quickly. We all go through this stage. It can be very scary or it can be very good. So it all depends on the organization that you are with. Some employers are really good. For example, there are employers who will send you for good quality training, send you overseas to learn, send you to professional training programs, equipping you with fantastic skill sets. Or you may get employers who doesn't care about equipping and developing you at all and pretty much just leaves you to go and look for learning opportunities yourself. Training is an investment in your life. An analogy that you can use is think of yourself as a cup. For each training or each development that you go through, you are filling yourself, filling the cup, and you will have more and more professional value. Now, be aware that over time, knowledge, skills, things will get obsolete, will get rusty, you will start to forget things. So imagine the cup has a hole at the bottom and the water starts to leak out. And this is a constant thing. As it leaks out, you have to go for training and development programs to fill it back up. And so it's a constant, never-ending leaking out and filling in process. We call that lifelong learning. You never stop picking up skills, never stop going for training and development program for your own personal benefit. So throughout this lecture, we were going to see what are some ways organizations help employees fill their cups or increase their personal value through training and development. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's start with the definition. So training is an organization's planned efforts to help you learn job-related knowledge, skills, abilities, and behaviors. And the goal is to help you apply these on your current job. So think of it, training is like the organization is feeding you with skills, equipping you with knowledge. It's like giving you newfound abilities. Training can benefit the organization when it is linked to organizational needs and when it motivates you and I. Now, development, on the other hand, is where the organization wants to increase your competency or increase the ability that you already have. And it's necessary to meet the changing job requirements, the changing demands in the market, in the industry. So your employer should do both. They first need to train you, need to give you the knowledge, give you the skills. After they train you, after a while, then they develop you to be better in this area. In the next section, we look at more details on training and development.